Kendrick Lamar apparently still has playlists, dance floors, song cues, and airplay going wild over his final Drake diss, not like us. Moreover, it kept its number two placement on the Billboard Hot 100 for the third week in a row after debuting at number one four weeks ago. This time around, the chart-topping track is once again Post Malone and Morgan Wallen's I Had Some Help, which topped the Hot 100 and dethroned the West Coast banger for the third week in a row. Other notable returning cuts on the chart this week are Tommy Richmond's Million Dollar Baby, Shabuzzi's A Bar Song, Tipsy, and Sabrina Carpenter's Espresso. Furthermore, this comes amid rumors propelled by Terrace Martin, plus some other unconfirmed speculation, that Kendrick Lamar is locked in. A lot of folks obviously took this to mean that he's working on new music with Martin and others in the studio, and die-hard fans are hoping that this could mean an album is on the way. Whether or not that's true is a mystery, and it dangerously invokes the five-year wait and hype before 2022's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Will we have to wait until 2027 or is this beef scandal the perfect moment to strike? Surely, we'll learn in due time, but it would certainly make sense numbers-wise for Kendrick Lamar to seize the day. After all, he's not only outstreaming Drake when comparing their diss tracks against each other, but creeped up on his general listenership numbers on Spotify as well. Of course, this doesn't mean much in the grand scheme, and anyone who thinks they can take the boy down commercially will dream forever. Also, some fans think that it would be a corny move on K.Dot's part to drop something, since it would indicate that this beef either intentionally or unintentionally rolled out the red carpet for it. But who are we to assume and speculate when the only thing Kendrick Lamar's done in 2024 is drop music and not make any more statements? Still, even if there's no new music for a while, people still have plenty to talk about when it comes to his previous material, and that of his family. An alleged reference track by the Compton lyricist for Baby Keem's Bullies recently surfaced, once again opening up a debate about ghostwriters, reference tracks, writing for other artists, and whether this is a condemnable offense. But ironically enough, Billboard suggests that no matter what conversations people are having, they're still bumping, not like us.